So whenever I go eating out, and to be honest, that doesn't happen quite a lot, I'm always surprised by the prices. I mean, I pay one hourly wage for the food only, and that's in a really cheap restaurant. And what really astonishes me about this is that for the same price, for the same amount of money, I could just run into H&M and buy a really nice Hello Kitty sweater and I could wear the sweater for about one year. Now isn't this really strange to compare food and clothing with each other? Especially because an evening out and a Hello Kitty sweater have really nothing in common with each other. This is one of the powers of money. Money makes us compare stuff that doesn't have anything to do with each other at all. So up till now, you have seen me chopping the potatoes in whatever chunks you like. It's two and a half kilos I used here. Danke. Boil the potatoes for about 15 minutes. While the potatoes are boiling, you can cut your ginger. I didn't use all of this piece, maybe three quarters. And your onions, you will need four large onions. Cut them into small pieces. Now cooking is work. And of course the people that cook in a restaurant need to be paid because they work. But I didn't get paid for this here. Because even though it was work, it wasn't work. Because I did it for my friends. So here you can see the double side of work. On one hand, Labor is a value-creating activity, which means that I produce something. And on the other hand, labor is a quantity that is for sale and comes at a price. And now you can also see why eating in a restaurant is so expensive, because people sell their workforce there. And people in other countries, as the countries where you pull over from H&M is produced, don't get the same amount of money out of their workforce because out of some random reason their work is deemed to be less worthy. After drying the potatoes you can add a lot of oil to your pan and then put in your onions and your ginger as soon as it's hot enough. Don't forget to stir. As you can see, we live in a society where not everyone's labor has the same worth. The labor of the woman in Bangladesh that's suing your Hello Kitty pullover apparently has less value than the labor of the chef that's sautéing your vegetables. So now we are adding the spice to the dish. It's um, grated coriander seeds. They come in many forms. You can take the cheapest one, it doesn't matter. And a lot of cheap, cheap curry. Believe me, you don't need expensive curry. If you want to add it, no problem. It's really all about the coriander. Put in coriander until you smell and stir and stir and stir while it's frying. And keep on putting in and adding coriander until ginger isn't the dominating odor anymore. There are many reasons for this strange differentiation in value, but one of them, and I think that's the most important one, is that the flow of capital, of money, is global, but the flow of workforce isn't. This means that the person that's working in Bangladesh will never in her whole fucking life have the chance to come here to Europe, while I, of course, because I am full of capital, can go there anytime I please. So how will it ever be possible to organize us, the workforces, that we can somehow work together? Well, I don't know about you, but cooking for people and inviting them for dinner seems like a very good start. Wait for one or two minutes and then you can add your frozen spinach. I used 
500 grams here. You can even use more, but as you will see, it's quite a lot. And a small pinch of water and close the lid so the spinach can defrost. And now it's really easy. Now you only have to add four cans of drained chickpeas and all of your potatoes. And now stir, stir, stir. And we will add half a liter of coconut milk. Yes. And again, stir, stir, stir. So, it must be not now. And serve. For serving, I really like to have fresh chilies on top. I use three chilies for 10 people, so maybe some people like it even hotter. You can add more chilies. And that's it. Cooking for comrades. Of course, a meal is the ideal situation to discuss wages and prices and, if you wish so, spices.